Hey guys, it's me, Wendy from Weeby Dolls, and I'm here with Aaliyah. Um, she just got changed into this pretty little teal outfit, and I thought I would bring her on and share her with you guys. Um, we have a couple of quick announcements to make, or just, you know, changes to share with you guys that happened in my collection in the last couple of weeks, so um, I wanted to update you guys. So Aaliyah, she's one of my Kimberly babies. She is the um, Kylie sculpt by Romy Stridham. And her big sister, Hosanna, has moved on to a new mommy. Um, yeah, so that's one of the changes that's happened in my collection this in the last week. So you guys can be watching for a box opening um, on who gets her. And I'll share that once her box opening video is up, her mommy's box opening video so yeah so um hosanna has moved on um however Aaliyah is staying with me and so is kimberly she is my other kimberly baby she's gonna get changed in the next day or so probably um and then the other news is that my baby my chloe sculpt baby psalm has also moved on to a new mommy um she was one of my little red-headed babies don't think that uh, Psalm or Chloe's mommy has a YouTube channel so there's no box opening video for her um, but the third piece of news that I wanted to share with you guys is that this baby is staying with me um, I have had a few people inquiring about her and every single time somebody inquired about her I got like so anxious like oh no oh no she's gonna go she's gonna sell but then she never did sell and I'd be so relieved that she didn't sell and so I after a few times of that I thought you know I think it's a sign that she needs to stay here with me <laughs> um, even though I am trying to pare down my collection a little bit um, at least I'm gonna let her stay at least for now um, not saying she's going to stay forever, I'm not sure, but for now, I definitely think she needs to stay with me, and I'm going to enjoy her for a little while, because I've really been enjoying her. Um, I didn't think I would enjoy painted hair quite so much, but I really am enjoying this baby. Um, she's great to wear hats, but I keep taking the hats off to see her hair. <laughs> so, but it is kind of nice to have, like, a couple babies that are so no fuss you know with no mohair to worry about and so i have that in her and i have that in my pax sculpt who, or in my knox sculpt i mean who i've named pax i have that in him as well so i do enjoy holding these babies that have painted hair and putting hats on them and just wrapping them up in blankets and not having to worry and fuss about their hair so it is kind of fun to have a couple babies with painted hair never thought i would say that or enjoy them as much as I am but um, this is a sculpt that I keep going back to I keep being drawn to um, I did have a sailor rose in my collection early on like when she first came out and sold her and then always missed her um, and twice now when I have you know a Mac McPherson's has a, a program that you can accumulate Mac bucks and once you get enough MacBooks, you can go and get one of the kits that they have in their MacBook store. And they're usually like sold out kits or whatever. And twice now I have cashed in my MacBooks to get a Sailor Rose. So it's definitely like a sculpt that I love and I keep going back to. And I think that maybe she's just meant to stay with me for now. So I've given her a name. Um, her name is Eleanor. Eleanor Lu uh, Louise. Now, Eleanor is spelled E-L-L-E-N-O-R. That's my grandmother's middle name, and that's how she spelled it. I actually just learned that. I always thought she spelled it the, the other way, like E-L-E-A-N-O-R. Um, but she rec my grandmother recently had celebrated her 100th birthday, and she um my uncle showed me a video and on it there was like this letter from the government or whatever uh in congratulations to her for her 100th birthday and that's how her name was spelled and i was like whoa i did not know her name was spelled that way all these years so i love that spelling it's unique and um 
yeah, really cool. So I decided to name my baby after her. And then Louise is my great grandmother's first name. So that would be my grandma's husband's mother. <laughs> yeah. So that would be her, her first name. So I thought they, the two names kind of went well together. Eleanor Louise. So that's her name and she's going to be staying with me and I'm just going to enjoy her. So I hope you guys like seeing her in my collection. And, um, I know it's always tough to see some babies go, but you know, sometimes some things just come up and you know, just is what it is. Uh, Sometimes you just have to sell a baby. Sometimes I feel like if I'm going to add a new baby, I need to, le to let one go. So that's kind of what's been happening here. Um, I had just added little David, my little redheaded Benjamin sculpt. And um, so I decided to let my Chloe go. And I was contemplating if I was going to let Eleanor stay. So I decided to let my um, Hosanna go. She was a beautiful doll. Or she is a beautiful doll. Um, just probably she's the, probably the biggest baby in my collection. And I, <clears throat> I always found her a little bit big to handle just because she's such a big girl. And uh, I don't have toddlers. I never will have toddlers. They're just too big for me personally. Um, I don't really enjoy changing them um, and holding them or carrying them or anything like that. So I like the babies, the smaller ones. Um, the size of my Susu, uh, the size of this one here, uh, is a good size for me. Uh, that's probably the biggest size that I, that I enjoy. So I do like chunky babies, just not too big. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So anyhow, I decided to let Hosanna go and she has a wonderful mommy that I'm very happy about. So, um, we'll still be seeing her on, uh, that channel and I'll share that once her video is up when she's opened the doll. All right, guys, everybody have a great day and I hope you enjoy your week. Not sure if I'll get back on here or not. My husband's on a, on the three to 11 shift. So I only get like an hour to myself in the day when it be taught by the time he leaves and then the kids get back home from school. So, um, when he's on that shift, I don't have much time to myself, but we'll see. I may get another video in. I'm not sure, but I just wanted to share with you what is, changed in my collection just a couple little things and uh and yeah just touch base with you guys all right guys have a good one